These are my top nine things to do in Cusco, Peru. So Cusco, Peru is famous as a city that is a jumping off point to visit the wonder of the world, Machu Picchu. But there is so much to see and do in this city, starting off at number one, which is going to be getting a sunset at Cristo Blanco. Now, in my opinion, this is the best viewpoint of the entire city of Cusco. And Cristo Blanco literally means like uh, white Jesus or white Christ. And uh, this is an eight meter tall statue of Jesus shaped like a cross and the views are amazing. The sunset here was out of this world. It's a really cool little walking trail that you can take from the city of Cusco as well. So it makes for a good adventure and a stunning view to really get a good, you know, sort of orientation and perspective of this beautiful city and beautiful part of Peru and the Andes Mountains. Now number two is to walk around and explore the beautiful neighborhood of San Blas. Now San Blas, in my opinion, is the most gorgeous area in all of Cusco. It has these tiny, charming cobblestone streets that are really small because before they are built for traffic for like llamas and alpacas. I'm not even joking, going like two ways. So definitely is a little bit more difficult to get over around this area in a car, but we will just be walking around, checking out some beautiful murals, some gorgeous buildings, interesting shops, and just taking in the beautiful mixture of, you know, Incan culture, mixed with like the Spanish culture and architecture as well. Some notable areas are going to be the San Blas Plaza where they actually have a nice artisan uh, market on Sundays. Calle Siete Borreguitos, it's always a hard one to say, really beautiful street. Mercado San Blas, and overall just get lost exploring this area. It's very safe and very beautiful to just, you know, get some views and wander around and see where this area takes you. Number three is going to be Cusco's Plaza de Armas. Plaza de Armas is the main plaza of Cusco and it is very beautiful and it's like the main hub of the city in my opinion. It has some stunning buildings, some gorgeous historic churches, and even has an iconic statue of the Inca. And the views are great here too of the Andes Mountains and some of the surrounding architecture. Really makes you feel like you're the beautiful city of Cusco. And number four is going to be Mercado de San Pedro. Now this is the best market in all of Cusco and it is a labyrinth of these different little walking areas with lots of souvenirs, locally made goods, produce, food stalls, and my number one recommendation, you have to get some fresh squeezed juice here. There are some delicious fresh juices here with some local fruits that you can only find in the Andes in Peru. All right, so this is a famous juice at the San Pedro market. I got orange, not true, I got mango, mucuma, <laughs> and chirimoya. Lucuma is a very popular Indian fruit, and chirimoya is like a custard apple. Let's give it a taste. Oh my god. I didn't know if like the flavors are mixed, but it mixed perfectly and I can taste everything so well. It's so delicious and fresh. It almost like a little desserty too from the lucuma. It tastes like a date, sort of a caramel sort of taste. It's so good. ¿Te gusta? Great place to do some shopping, great places to see the local scene as well. Love the energy and sights and things you can just overall experience and take home with you at the Mercado de San Pedro. Number five is Sexe Woman. Now this is probably the most famous and iconic site to see in Cusco because it's actually an Inca and pre-Inca ruin which is located at the top of the hill or kind of like mountains right above Cusco and it used to be an old fortress and like a viewpoint and overlook, kind of like a keep managing uh, Cusco down below. The old stone buildings are unreal. They're super mysterious because of the stonework. It's still a mystery today about how they were able to assemble such intricate stonework such a long time ago. It also has great views of Cusco down below, and you can even see some alpacas and llamas hanging out on the top here. Hola, mi alpaca amigos. I also highly recommend walking to Sexy Woman from Cusco. It's gonna be uphill, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but it really takes you away from the city, makes you feel like, well, kinda, like you're an Inca walking between the two, you know, notable areas in the views. The river right by you is really nice as well, but you're going to be a little bit out of breath, um, especially because Cusco is at such a high altitude. Number six is the Sampantiana Aqueduct. Now this aqueduct is actually located right near the Calle Siete Borreguitos, which is sort of in that San Blas area we were talking about earlier. But once you're like right before the street, you're gonna take a right and follow the river. All right, everybody, we are getting close to the aqueduct and you can probably hear it, really peaceful, nice mixture of sun and shade. And 
really scenic thing to see here in Cusco. Let's check it out. If you continue along the stream, you will find this aqueduct, which uh, is kind of a reminder about what makes Cusco so interesting, is like the blends of architecture, because uh, this aqueduct is actually built as like inspiration or, not inspiration, but influenced by the Spanish who were influenced by the Romans back during this time uh, of European history. So the architecture here is very different from a lot of things you will see in Cusco and uh, in the Sacred Valley, which we'll talk about more later, of course. And number seven is C. Hatten Brumiok. <laughs> we both know I got that pronunciation wrong, but here's what it is. So this notable street is located right between San Blas and the Plaza de Armas and is worth a visit for a few reasons. So number one, there's a really interesting story here. They have one side which is Inca architecture and one side which is Spanish architecture because when the Spaniards came, they saw the Inca architecture and thought, how primitive, how disgusting, how like, uh, you know, unsophisticated. Let's show you the real way to do architecture here and we'll build Spanish style on the other side. The story goes, throughout earthquakes over the years, the Spanish side was rebuilt numerous times because it was not built correctly for the geography of Cusco, whereas the Incas, they already knew this. So they built these massive sort of like slanted uh, stones on their side of the wall. So where, as the Spanish was trying to, you know, like act like they knew better and were looked down upon the Incas, they actually were way off with their understanding of architecture for this place. And the Incas actually were very clever and smart despite what the Spanish thought of them. Also, you can see the 12 angled stone, which has 12 different sides representing the 12 different Incas at this time in uh, Peru's uh, history. Hi everybody, here we are at the famous 12 sided stone here in Cusco. It's a very famous stone and you can only get really a picture of it if you're here early in the morning or early in the night. And the 12 side symbolizes the 12 true Incas back from the Inca times and empire. Make sure to check it out while you're in Cusco, Peru. And there's lots of great restaurants and souvenirs and locally made Peruvian and sort of like yeah, Inca style goods, which leads us to our next thing, which is number eight, shop for beautiful Peruvian goods. For me, Cusco is distinctly beautiful and cultural, which blends into the locally produced goods and like textiles and handcrafted stuff, which you can definitely buy in this area. So this is the perfect place to buy some locally made clothes, wallets, jewelry, blankets, cups, or whatever your heart desires, anything you want to bring a little bit back of um, Cusco and Peruvian culture back to your home, this is the place to do so. No matter what you decide to buy, they'll be gorgeous and they'll capture a bit of that essence of Peru and you'll be happy to bring them back as a souvenir for yourself or a gift for someone else. And even if you, for some reason, don't buy anything, just looking around and being able to appreciate the different stuff on display will be well worth your time. Number nine is going to be take day trips to the Sacred Valley. Because although Cusco has so much going for it, one of my favorite features about it is that it's located so close to so many notable and amazing places, geographically, landscape-wise, talking about history and culture and, you know, uh, archaeology, that you can easily visit these places as little day trips or small little overnight tours, places besides just Machu Picchu. I stayed in Cusco for a month and I took some unreal day trips to places in the Sacred Valley, such as the Pisac Ruins, Oyente Tambo, Moray, Maras, also Rainbow Mountain, also Laguna Umentay, just to name, well, that name's pretty much all of them, but they were all incredible and amazing, and you definitely have to visit as many of these as you feel up for when staying in Cusco. I actually made videos about all those places I visited, so check those out if you wanna see more, and if you want a comprehensive sort of guide about the Sacred Valley of Peru, how to visit these places, why you should, the, you know, logistics behind it, comment down below and I will, potentially make an overall guide outlining these things for you. So those are my top nine things to do in Cusco, Peru. It really is an amazing city rather than just being like a jumping off point for doing like these different treks to Machu Picchu or whatever may have you. So comment down below if you've done any of these things, if any of these look the most appealing to you, if you're gonna stay in Cusco or go there anytime soon. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.